Everyone's talking about Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta in Dragon Ball Fighters. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta has always been really, really popular, but why? He was only in practically one episode of the entire Dragon Ball franchise in GT. A series that a lot of people trash on. So why is he so beloved? Today, let's go back and take a real good look at Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta on this edition of Dragon Ball Highlights. I am neither Goku nor Vegeta. I am Gogeta. And I order you to subscribe to Geekdom 101. Unless you want your soul punished. Dragon Ball Highlights is the series where I go back and I look at some of my favorite moments in the history of Dragon Ball and mark out over them pretty much. And some have accused me of being on certain substances when I record these and you can't prove it, fuck boy. You can't prove anything. You can't handle the truth. So let's have some fun with this going back and talking about Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. So again, like I said in the intro, he's a GT character. He's only in one episode pretty much. Why is he so damn popular? Well, first of all, you have to remember that people like strong characters. Whether you have a problem with it or not, whether you're a scaler or you're not a scaler, it doesn't matter. People like strong Dragon Ball characters. And before Dragon Ball Super was even a twinkle in Toei's mind... Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta was the strongest character we had ever seen on screen in Dragon Ball going back to GT. And I know some people are going to say, you know, the canon cops. They're going to come and say, well, you know, a GT's not... Get, get the sh Take that to another video, bro. Take it to another video. If you go back anime-wise, not manga, not Toriyama's mind, the anime, GT was the last anime we had during the original run of Dragon Ball, and... Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta was the strongest character in GT. Easily. The strongest character in the history of Dragon Ball up until the Dragon Ball Super era. 17 years. We had 17 years of equity. And now, yeah, we have Beerus, we have Whis, we have the Grand Priest. But those characters did not exist back in the 90s or in the early 2000s before the Dragon Ball Renaissance. So, children, I want you to open up your textbooks. Wait, what the fuck am I on? Not textbooks. Open up your... Not open. Go grab your DVD or stream or whatever the hell you have GT on and pick up or open up or go look at, grab, Dragon Ball GT Episode 60. An episode that, let me tell you, when I was tape trading in the 90s trying to get the entire series... In fan sub format, this episode was almost impossible to find. It was very hard to find, but uh, it was worth it if you did get your hands on it. So again, Dragon Ball GT episode 60. This is in the middle of the climactic battle with Omega Shenron, a.k.a. Yi Xinglong. That's his real name in Dragon Ball GT's Shadow Dragon arc. So Vegeta agrees to do the fusion for the first time, and while their children distract Omega, they perform the fusion dance, and this time, unlike seemingly every other time, they perfect it and form the true Gogeta, not the fat or skinny variety. And so we have Gogeta in Super Saiyan 4, but wait a second, he's got red hair. Why does he have red hair? To this day, we don't have... We, we, but well, we've never gotten an explanation about why Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta has red hair. We do not know why. And please don't be a dumbass and say that they, they were teasing Super Saiyan God 20, almost 20 years before they came up with the idea. Please don't be that stupid. That just makes no fucking sense. I mean, it's just bullshit. Yeah, they didn't have the idea for Super Saiyan God until like 2013. So, like... No, that's, that's dumb. That's really dumb to think that. But we still don't know why Gogeta has red hair. Anyways, Omega Shenron tries to attack him, and Gogeta knocks him away with his eyes, bro. With his eyes. This spiked up dickhead is the strongest enemy they've ever faced in Dragon Ball, and Gogeta hurt him with his eyes. That's an omen of things to come. So the dragon comes in and tries to punch Gogeta, but gets knocked away. And you're over here thinking, oh, wait a minute, he just knocked him away with energy. No, Gogeta actually punched him in the nose, and we see him bloody, and we see Gogeta acknowledge the fact that he not only punched him once, but punched him three times and has a bloody nose. So he punched him so fast, so freaking fast, that you couldn't even tell. I have slowed this footage down to find the punch, and it's not there, bro. That's crazy, especially for 1997. 
Gogeta wants to slow it down for him, and he does, and hits him three times and kicks him away, and it's just so awesome, bro. I have a big smile on my face because this is one of the biggest one-sided thrashings that a character has ever gotten, yo. Also, Gogeta, I'd like to thank you for slowing it down for the audience as well. We really appreciate it. We really do appreciate that. So for this whole episode, pretty much, Gogeta is pounding him harder than I was pounding your mom last night. Yeah, I'm the one that kept you awake. So the dragon starts to fire off these yellow energy blasts to Gogeta's chest, and they're smacking him in the chest and tapping him in the chest, and he looks like he's kind of like hurt, but he's really not hurt, bro. They're just hitting him right in the chest, and he's just, just waiting to see what they're going to do, what damage they can do, and guess what? They do no damage. So Gogeta tells him, oh, I loved it. It felt terrific. Can you do my back next? Gogeta took the strongest villain's attacks on his chest and was mocking him, telling him it felt like a massage and that he wanted him to do his shoulders next. Freaking awesome, bro. Ask your mom about my massages, by the way. Anyways, so Gogeta wants to show him his signature move, his finisher. He makes five clones of himself and prepares to do a Kamehameha. And it winds up just being party poppers and streamers, dude. I'm not kidding. This is freaking, like, genius. So Gogeta tells him, oh, I can beat you with just one finger. That's all I need. Which, by the way, your mom likes it when I use two. Okay, fine. I'll stop with those jokes. So Omega makes a giant energy ball out of the power of the seven shadow dragons. Confident that it will defeat Gogeta. Then he condenses the energy into a smaller ball made of pure hatred and pure negative minus energy. And what does Gogeta do? He just kicks it right out into space like nothing. And not only did he kick the ball, but he actually said that he converted the entire condensed negative energy into positive energy with his energy. That's crazy. Who would have thought that Vegeta would be half of a being that had that much positive energy? Talk about a change, right? Talk about development, right? Then Gogeta performs his real finishing move, the Big Bang Kamehameha. And even before the move hits Omega, he's already like hurt and like, you know, grimacing at the pain. And boom, he gets nailed with it. And the Dragon Ball suddenly falls to the ground with the battle seemingly being over, but things are never as it seems in Dragon Ball, are they? No, he's still alive, but he lost the power of the Dragon Balls and has reverted back to his Sin Shenron form. And yeah, so Gogeta's about to do it again, and then before he can finish off the move, he unfuses, and they're wondering why they're unfusing before the 30 minute time limit, because it hadn't even been 10 minutes at that point, and then they figure out that, well, Gogeta, Super Saiyan 4, used up way too much power, probably with the Big Bang Kamehameha, and pretty much fucked around too much, and that's why the fusion only lasted less than 10 minutes, and because of that, we have four more episodes of GT where they have to struggle against this guy and finally they do beat him and I discussed that in another video where I explained the ending of GT better than anyone could possibly do it. So that's our last time ever seeing Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta in an official Dragon Ball capacity, not including video games and heroes. Yeah, fun time, albeit very brief. And by the way, I want to remind you of one thing, one very important thing. Unlike Gogeta, I last a hell of a lot more than 10 minutes. Just ask your mom. All right, I'm done. I'm done. I love you all. Thank you for watching this video. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe and watch these videos as well.